Got a little hot dog running around down here. Turbo! Did you eat? Are you hungry? <laughs> a few of these, I call them curly cues, <laughs> made out of wood. These ornate things from Lowe's. And I used one in the other camper and I was really pleased it was this one. I found this two pack and now I've decided to paint it orange. It's great. So I bought some of this paint and primer Krylon. I usually use uh, Rust-Oleum. I wanted to try this. It was a little cheaper size can for like three dollars or something. <laughs> the trick with this can is not getting too much paint off. <laughs> oh, that might be good enough for now. Man, it's hard to control that thing. Would they say it was pumpkin? Yeah, gloss pumpkin orange. So, see how it goes with the Granger it be like right in the middle, right there, on the green door fronts. Uh, I don't know if you'd have to put on a, put it on all of them. These need another coat. They're looking pretty good. Took the whole bathroom door out. Off, painted that as the closet door. Got a little hot pot running around down here. Turbo! Did you eat? Are you hungry? So I bought some G basic LED light bulbs, screw in type. Put in here because uh, these light fixtures get so hot. So look at this, folks. Part of it is dark and part of it isn't. And this part over here. <coughs> Should be the front should be ready to try a couple of cabinets to see, see how it looks. So, tried to buy some laminate flooring at Lowe's in Plattsburgh today, and any of the decent laminate flooring was completely out of stock. A little bit ridiculous, but that's Lowe's. So I don't know what I'm going to do, order it online or what. But this project's starting to come together. Say over half of it is painted, at least with one coat. Some of it's got one coat, some of it's got two, some of it's got three. Latex paint dries fast. Got a piece of molding to cover that little gap right there. It blows today. I'm gonna try these new light bulbs, see how they look, and see if we can try a couple of door fronts, see how it looks. So there's the light difference. Hmm. I think the biggest difference is going to be in the heat. There's like no heat coming off from those. No! You can't put your hand on that one. Yeah, these things throw a lot of heat. It was heating up in here during the daytime. You needed the light getting so hot I couldn't hardly stand it and then it was so hot up here <laughs> at the original boss I ended up putting the halogen type in and they're really dim look at this thing can't even tell that one's on so I'm gonna put LEDs up here too this part right here look at that one look how dim that is this thing would get like floppy just from the heat so let's see the difference here. So here's the same light with LEDs. <laughs> Can tell now the difference. Should be bright enough, I would think, over here. This is kind of cool. It's got the propane light lantern, whatever you want to call it. So throw a lot of heat. I'm surprised there's not a light underneath here. A lot of times that's where 12 volt lights are, in modern day campers anyway. Alright, let's see if we can get a couple of doors on the 
cupboards. So we have some of them on. What do you think of these colors, folks? You like the color? I do. So here it is, the first part, the kitchen part that's uh, pretty much done. The lighting isn't that good, it's probably hard to tell what it looks like on this video. But uh, you get an idea. I'm going to take a couple of pictures, maybe I can show you some before and after pictures. I'll be channeling the chicken spirit for my happy wanderers. <laughs> happy wanderers. Er, 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 er. Thanks for coming to Dollywood. Y'all good. Bye, honey. Bye bye. <laughs>